Okay. Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the modern that terrorist man. Go to the Archangel Uriel. And flight boss here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to do elemental wars when it comes into the music genre. Now, people don't really understand how deep this can go. You know what I'm saying? When we're talking about uh, people's names and groups and things of that nature coming together and understanding things. Like, I want to do a prime example, like like Death Row. So when you look at Death Row, you know what Death Row meant. You know the energy it carried, right? But see, things, organ, organizations, organisms, whatever like that, they carry certain frequency vibrations based upon each piece, each organ that's playing a part in that situation. You see what I'm saying? So this is how you have to look at things. Things is like elemental energies. The reason why Death Row had the energy it had because look who the people who was the face of it and look what the energy that they was promoting. Now you look, you got Dr. Dre. I think Dr. Dre, what? Aquarius, Aquarius, right? You got Suge Knight, which Suge Knight, I think, was an Aries. Going on, I think, an Aries Taurus cusp, but Aries, Sag Moon. So you got dealing with fire. I think, um, I think Dr. Dre is a grand trine between Aquarius, Gemini Moon, and Libra Ascendant. You got, then you got Snoop Dogg, the premier artist. Libra, I think Snoop is Scorpio Moon. But he's a Libra, Libra Sun. So look, you got air, fire. See what I'm saying? Then you got all the people that's that correlated and back in, all the stars that back and support that. Well, you got Daz Dillinger. Uh, boom. Think he a Gemini. Boom. Tupac, Gemini. Boom. You got air, and then then you're gonna you go once you start looking at certain things like that too, you'll start to see how certain frequency vibrations migrate. Migrate mean a migration of all those energies and elements coming together in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? In some way, shape, or form, based upon the circumstance, situation, or the people that's involved. So, boom, you got you got all that ran by fire. So, when you look at Death Row, you got a circumstance of a situation where, the, let's say, the two heads. The two heads of it is the idea, the thought, communication, and analyzing, which a bunch of air came under that. Then you have the other people. Then you have the right brain of it. You have the expression, the visions. The expression, the vision, the uh, feelings, and the sight. So you can separate. You know, Suge Knight was the feelings, the expression, the sight, the the vision of it. You see what I'm saying? Because <coughs> that was the Aries. You know, Dr. J was the creative part of it, the idea, the thought. You know what I'm saying? The thing put into it. So then you know, when you look at all the air, <coughs> you know, Death Row was more supported by air, but but the color and shape of it was fire. So, when you look at Death Row, it was turbulent. It was chaotic. It was a goddamn hot ass tornado. A flaming ass tornado coming across. You see what I'm saying? So, it doesn't matter who even came up under Death Row, they was going to have to experience that kind of energy being manifested. Because those are the energy signatures that was migrating around Death Row. <clears throat> and you can do this with everything. Wu Tang. You know what I'm saying? All your famous groups. NSYNC. <laughs> so I don't know why, but today we're going to get some, some raps. D Block. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> we got Dipset. <coughs> look at Dipset. We got. Look at their logo. Their logo is the Diplomats. It's the it's the bird. A bird flying. You know what I'm saying? It's bird flying through air. That's thinking, communicating, analyzing. So when you, <coughs> when you look at Dipset, what is Dipset power to control by? You got Cameron. Boom. Cam. That's. He's an Aquarius. Uh, that's an, that's air. Boom. Look at Joel Santana. He's like a Taurus. I mean, a, a Pisces Aquarius cusp. You see what I'm saying? Boom. Look at Freaky Zeke. He's a Libra. Boom. Look at Jim Jones. He's a Cancer Pisces moon, but it's H2O in water. So water know how to take shape and form of its environment. So since it, it took shape and form of that, it's, you know what I'm saying? A lot, so a lot, a lot of emotions and feelings may get involved at times when it's time to be dense. But that's sometimes that's what's needed to be anchored. Earth and water anchor people in this realm of reality. See, we we on Earth, but Earth is not Earth. Earth is just a a a, a, a shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas that preceded you. So you're a smaller version of a shapeless, formless, odorless, formless gas, a not non-flammable gas, aka, AKA a spirit of conscience that can go in this realm of reality and sustain itself. But you're in a bigger body. 
And with this, and the earth that you're in, I mean, the Gaia, the, the light source that you in, just got a lot of earth element to it. So really, anybody who got a lot of earth element in their chart actually rule this, this realm. Or able to. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know, look at G-Unit. Look at G-Unit. G unit is G unit. So off the bat, what, what it stands for gangster, something like that. Gangster. That's that's an, that's an, that's a feeling. A person a gang, being gangster. That's a feeling. You know what I'm saying? And it takes certain actions to get to that feeling, but it's still a feeling. So who run anchor that, right? Uh, Fifty Cent. What is Fifty Cent? A cancer. Initiate and create new ways of how to feel and deal with the emotions. So it's going to be ran in the vibration of people who feel gangster. So it needs some stability. So water sign needs support because water sign is just take shape and form. And if there's no shape and form to take, there's no foundation for a water sign that can make a water sign care negatively or feel feel uncomfortable. So what did 50 Cent do? Get a support system. What is support about foundation on? You got Lloyd Banks. What is Lloyd Banks? A Taurus. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that 50 must have thought in his life of something he could fall back on in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? Who else? Uh, Tony Ayo. I think Tony Ayo is an Aries. So that, that gives the, the fire, uh, I mean, that gives the water fire. So it's not, it's a hot wave now. That's that support that, that, uh, that Tony Ayo gives. So Tony Ayo must have been a support on some type of passion that 50 Cent must have or some type of, uh, or some type of, some type of passion or desire that they both shared. So that made them come together. That's how they came together. Then we, um, then we look at what? Tony, uh, Young Buck. Young Buck is a, what? I think Young Buck is a Pisces. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, uh, more laid back, relaxed water. This, this, this makes 50 Cent not do waves. 50 Cent looked at Young Buck. He must have looked at Young Buck like, okay, I can, this is something I can make a part of what I got going on. See, water like to connect. So water gonna connect subconsciously, even if they ain't know each other's sign. Subconsciously in the astral realm, that's what was going on. 50 had to look at, at Young Buck like, um, this is somebody I can make a part of what I got going on. Young Buck is a Pisces. So Young Buck sparked the creativity and imagination and AKA the going with the flow in, in, in 50 cent nature. So it, it helps, Young Buck helps 50 calm down, not be so erratic, so wavy. That's cardinal water, initiating and creating new ways of dealing with emotions and feelings. So that's moody. You like to push waves. Pisces is collective conscious, uh, is, is, with subtle waves, it's going with the flow waves. So, Young Buck know how to help 50 Cent calm down and make 50 Cent remind himself of how high your waters go sometimes. Your, your water, and Young Buck understand that nature too. See, Pisces, he, he, Young Buck understand 50 Cent in a, in a way that Tony Yeo and Young Buck might not understand, regardless if they knew him longer than Young Buck. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it, even though he may know him longer, he's still clean to them more. See, this is how it plays out. It's like, you might know somebody longer, but you might meet somebody later on in life that you're highly compatible with. That would make it, that make the time way more easier, of the, the catching up time way more easy. So this person could catch up to your friend level just way faster and maybe pass up. Be your other friends based upon the shared in energies. So it's like a lot of levels you can skip and pass based upon levels you haven't skipped and passed yet based upon your friends, just based upon the location that you grew up with. So you just grew up with them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And when you, when you meet somebody you're truly compatible with, um, you can surpass a lot of things that, that surpass just knowing somebody and being around them and them being a real friend for a long time. But for the most part, that's another video. But, uh, yeah. And you can just look at the, the, the energies that's being carried. Look at Cardi, look at Cardi B right now. I think she's a Libra sun, uh, Aries moon. So at some way, shape, or form, her life is going to play out as she's more balanced than everybody she's around. But in her own personal life, she experienced a lot of unbalancedness. You know what I'm saying? And we can see that being played out now with her keep putting too much energy on 
her next record and this not working or this kind of third. Like she needs to stop putting energy into that because putting energy into that, that's what the energy is. So people are focusing on that. People are not focusing on the record. They're focusing on is it going to succeed? Or is it going to be hot? And when we talk about law of attraction, opposite always attracts. So you need to understand that the energy that you're putting in, you're going to get the opposite out of that. Since you keep putting focus on, on if a record going to work or not, then you're going to, what you're going to get out of that is a record not working. You see what I'm saying? You keep trying to find the right one. Was you're going to manifest not finding the right one, even if you felt like you found the right one. You, it's all about energy. Just start putting, just start putting out songs. And if you ain't putting out songs, just say, I got one. I got one. And if you release it or not, that's the energy is going, that's the energy people going to receive it. They're going to be like, Oh, she got one. Regardless if it's whack or not, the, the, that's the energy you put out in the world. I got one. So when people receive it, they're going to be like, Oh, she got one. People ain't going to know why they like it. People need to really understand their real powers. You know what I'm saying? Real powers. Now, who, who, who else you want to uh, motherfucker look at? You got Nicki Minaj right now. Now she can, uh, now look at her right now. People are thinking she's unstable, but really she's, she's a person who's trying to find stability. She's a sad son. I think she's a Virgo moon. You know what I'm saying? So with a sad son, Virgo moon, how she reacts to things is, Real with words in reality, you know what I'm saying? A little worried, but that's all good when you throw that in there because you make sure something is perfect. And the way she expressed that is through a wide range of different ways of seeing things, different viewpoints, different ways of feeling about things. And she can conduct conduct that. Even if she may even hop on a track with many different expressions. You know what I'm saying? Because that's Sagittarius. It's fire. It's seeing and feeling. Which is visions, intuitions. When it's mutable fire, it's being mutable and being able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of seeing things. So this would make Sagittarius wise. They can see how you see things, how others see things. They have many different ways of seeing things, many different ways of feeling things. And fire is expression. Because when you have a vision, your feelings don't have no, no sight to them. So you give it a color. You give it a person, place, or thing. You give it a location. You give it a desire. You know what I'm saying? From what you can see, from what, what dimension your brain is in, which we in 3D right now. So as a fi as visions, the only way other, the only way people are gonna see your visions and intuition if you express them. So if you got many different visions, many different ways of seeing things, like a Sagittarius, you're gonna express. You got many different expressions. So a lot of times she may wake up and not know how she, how she feel. She may hop on the track in many different ways, and this, that, and the third. But she do that in ways that, in ways that it'll make sense, aka in ways that can make her money, in ways that she could gain structure in her life in some type of way, in ways that. Uh, that makes sense. That's practical because her moon is in Virgo. That's the way she have to do it to make her feel comfortable. You see what I'm saying? So you can just look at everybody energy, and that's the energy source that they play out. They might not even know why they did that. Cameron, he probably don't. He, he probably don't know why he was interested in the bird. Aquarius, Aquarius, he probably from Aquila or something like that. He. He probably from Pegasus or something like that. He don't know. He don't know why he came here and just was interested in putting his energy into that form of representation of a bird here on this world and make a group about it and things of that nature. But it worked. He was being true to himself. That that thing, that person, place, or thing, or logo was this here as a shape, form, and representation in this reality that that played a perception of the reality he's consciously aware of. This is the best way he can perceive it here. The loan that you're genuinely doing what you're doing with your spirit is always going to go into the place it needs to go. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? 50 Cent don't know. He don't know why he came up with GU Net. He don't know why he came up with 50 Cent. You know what I'm saying? He might have thought that it, it, it might have played out in a way, shape, or form of him seeing an original gangster named 50 Cent. Understand? But when you look at what has changed, you get changed. 50 cents, cents, that's changed from a dollar. That's two quarters. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a half of something. That's like a half cup being full. You know what I'm saying? You know when a person's emotional stance is when they're halfway full. You know water is constantly changing. So that's change. You see what I'm saying? In some way, shape, or form, you're always going to experience something correlated to your name and your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't Beyonce parents don't know why they named her Beyonce, but look what look how much shit Beyonce is tied to. 
be, just being, um, beyond, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta really think about shit sometimes, like, but, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to think. People, people want to know the difference between, um, the, the difference between Biggie and Tupac, right? Because they was both Geminis, right? They was both Geminis. But here's the thing. Biggie was a Virgo moon. I think Tupac was a Gemini moon. Let me make sure of that, too. I don't want to, I don't, don't want to, uh, I don't want to make no mistakes. Because you, you can hear it all in the lyrics though. This is why this is why Biggie was better with putting the words together, because he was more logical, more practical. He made sense out of his nonsensical ideas. Cause it's the, that got filtered through his son being in Gemini. Yeah, Gem, Gemini Virgo, yep, Gemini Virgo Moon. And he was like a he was like a uh zero degrees zero degrees Gemini. You know what I'm saying? So off the bat, he had a little bit of practicality. He always liked to make sense out of his words. And he stayed fixated on his words. He may have took a little time uh, with his things. You know what I'm saying? He may have procrastinated a lot. You know what I'm saying? He may have even been lazy a lot of times. But he it's not he was lazy. He was perfected, staying stable on certain structures in his head until he get it together. And then he had many different structures because he still cussed Gemini. So he had many different ideas. He just know how to stay fixated on one idea. It just may have played out in his uh in his recording sessions that time as not recording. And this is probably why he haven't recorded much. You know what I'm saying? It's probably why he ain't record much as other artists. But at the same time, his moon being in Virgo, so he's he's practical he's practicalizing, looking at the details of things, paying attention to details of things that's going on in his life, things that he's into. Maybe certain movies and things that he's watching and making sense out of it and being able to metaphorically bring that into words, sharpen his words in some type of way. And he expressed that with his son, which is the blending between Taurus and um, and Gemini, which he, he know how to um, be mutable on his own or other people's ways of thinking and communicating. So he know how to see how everybody else see the same stuff he's into and the stuff he looked at the details about. And he know how to practically make something out of it. Stay stuck on, on something and see his way through until it works. So he's very good with the... So he, yeah, I, I see how he worked with the mind. I see how he ain't have to write. Because he he have a stable mind. He's already fixated on something. He have a lot of... He had earth energy working with him. Now Tupac, Tupac was more, I think, Gemini. And it's not sure, but I think it's Aries Moon. But even if it's Aries or Pisces, Pisces gave him that revolutionary energy. Aries may have gave him that aggressive energy. He may have even been a cusp between on the moon side. But at the same time, he it got it got filtered out through words and through words coming at a rapid pace. And rather the words words put you in a tornado, put you in a force field. Word a lot of words coming getting filtered with a lot of vibration of meaning put behind it because the vibration is the moon, the feeling. And and the frequency is the actions, the words without. You know what I'm saying? So what we came without from within was a bunch of heavy vibrations. But it, the vibrations came out and got filtered through the without, through the sun, through the all the, the words, the Gemini, all the words. And the words was relatable and mutable to his own and other people's ways of thinking and communicating. So it was it was a way to connect everybody because air connects everything. So this is what made pop this is what made pop words mean a little more mean a little bit more. Not to say he put his words together better, but the words he was putting together meant a lot more and we're gonna stop that shit too because i see a lot of people who just want to give credit to biggie they say some shit like well tupac wasn't that lyrical man tupac was lyrical nigga you can hear some shit uh that tupac rapping now on people's beats now and it sound better than the artist who did that song now You got you got to have lyrics to even come across that way. Like, what is y'all talking about? I, I, I'll be seeing that as a, a excuse. That's a defense mechanism for someone who just want to give it up to Biggie. Was, Biggie was lyrical, but we're not going to sit here and say that, okay, that's how we can separate 
because we got to get Biggie his own lane. Nah, Tupac was lyrical too. That they, that is lyrics, nigga. If that ain't lyrics, then what you talking about? If that ain't putting words together, then what you talking about? See what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all niggas got the game fucked up, but yeah, that was a little slight different. You know what I'm saying? You can see, uh, and then you can see the the future uh people like Jay Z. Jay Z, I think he's a sad son. Libra Moon, you know what I'm saying? And uh, who who Jay Z up against right now? Jay, uh, Nas, Nas, Nas a fucking um Virgo son, Aries Moon. So now you can kind of see what's going on here a little bit with them. You know what I'm saying? The interconjection and the interchanging with them. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z in some way, shape, or form knew how to knew how to uh he felt more he felt more comfortable with relating. You know what I'm saying? And he may be, he may be a little bit more materialistic also, because Saturn is exhausted in Libra. So in his his mind and how he think about things is to build relationships, build bonds, but build relationships that he can harmoni be harmonious with, be fair and balanced in. If he's in a relationship that that doesn't seem like it's that balanced, he's gonna feel uncomfortable and, and and reshape that circumstance and build a bond and relationship with someone else that he can feel more balanced and fair with. That's what makes him get comfortable and. That get expressed through the Sagittarius Sun, which is actions. His actions is the, is the do that in an extreme way, in a far out there way, but in a way that seems wise, in a way that seems like wisdom, like a, a person with knowledge, you know, or a person, but a person who have experienced that and didn't experience that before fully going through with that experience and was wise enough to reshape that experience in the way it was able to do it. So, you know what I'm saying, Jay Z? Just was wise on his relationships and, and was wise on how to relate. And he may add spirit to it, add religion to it, you know, and, and add other people ways of seeing and feeling about the circumstances he in also with it. But he has to be in that type of vibe. Now, you look at the split with uh Dame Dash. Dame Dash, what is Dame Dash? Taurus Sun, Leo Moon. Um, yeah, Dame Dash a Taurus Sun, Leo Moon. So, you know, with Dame Dame is all about, he has a fixated way, a fixated way of thinking and being practical. So with his fixated way of thinking and being practical, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to make sense out of, out of his own things, out of his own foundations and stuff. And his own foundation is the people in his life. See, people, this is what Tauruses have to understand, too. A little bit of Capricorn, but more Tauruses. You have to understand that the people, places, and things in your life are not your valuables. They are values. They're not your values. You know what I'm saying? They, they, these are not things which you have to offer to the world. These are a part of something that you can be with to be a part of the world. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes Tauruses have the, the, the sense, or people who got a lot of planets in the second house, had a sense of looking at people as things. You see, you can look at a person like a thing. Oh, like this is mine. You can look at a, a person who, a person, other person's talent and be like, oh, this is what I have to offer to the world. And you'll put your life on the line, which is all good. That's the goodness of it. You see what I'm saying? That's the goodness of it. It's like, damn, there's no ego here or nothing like that. But it still it still comes to a point that, okay, you're looking at me like like a, like a, like a tourist that probably sell drugs. They can look at a person, a person that got great uh, value to them, who can hustle real good. They look at that person as one of the bags they got, as, a, as one of the dope pieces they got. Like they look at it like, okay, I need this person because this person made me back, bring me back this, that, and the third. Like they calc they calculate people like things. So I gotta stop that. You gotta stop that. You know what I'm saying? Because when when a person actually start feeling the energy to make you fit to to want to make you feel like dog, I'm a person just like you. By the time it gets to that point, things are all boiled down. You know what I'm saying? But you know they shared a lot of they shared a lot of uh, compassion just anyway. They was passionately into the same thing because Jay Z's son is in Sagittarius and uh and Dame Dash Moon is in Leo. So they're into the same type of shit. You know what I'm saying? The shit that they but they just plan out in different roles. Dame Dash actions is in is in reality and wicked game structure in his life. Um and Jay Z's reactions is how he can relate and how he feel comfortable and is something fair and it's in and is this a good relationship or not. You know what I'm saying? So it's playing out in two different planets, and their their fire is playing out in two different planets, also. So a lot of times, see the person when when you share elements, the person who has the moon element shared with the person's sun element, 
the moon person plays more of the support, the vibration, more of the female energy of it. And when I say female, I'm not talking about male and female as a male. I'm just talking about they play more as the support, the, the behind the scenes, what, what motivates, what, what's the vibration of this, what motivates the frequency, what motivates the vibration. And the, the person with the sun, with the element in the sun, plays the role of the outer expression of what's seen. You know what I'm saying? What's, 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 what the rotation is rotating around, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the support? What the support look like? You know what I'm saying? With a, uh, what it motivates the actions and what's seen and what's to be seen and things of that nature. So when we talk about the, uh, that's just like if you're in a relationship with somebody. Say you got, say you got your son in an earth sign. If the person moon is in an earth sign, regardless of their son, you know what I'm saying? This is the relationship right here. You know what I'm saying? The moon is the support system and the moon motivates the sun. And the sun goes out and do the duties and obligations and, and, and has a, and feel comfortable with doing these things and bring it back and keep bouncing back and forth, back and forth. So, um, this was kind of, you could kind of look at it like, like that. That's kind of the relationship that Jay-Z and Dame Dash had. Uh, um, Dame Dash moon is in fire. Jay-Z sun is in fire. You know what I'm saying? So Dame Dash is the back and this is in the support. Jay Z is the face and the, and the things, but see somehow that order got fucked up based upon because it's fire. Now see Dame Dash Moon is in fire, but which fire? Leo fire and how that fire plays out. Fixed fire being fixated on its own way of seeing and feeling. So it wants to be seen. It has a desire. It has a passion, and the way it's being expressed through a tourist way, of the passion and desire for material structure. You know what I'm saying? Things I could touch, but only but have good taste. Things I could smell, but sit something's funny also. You know what I'm saying? Things I could hear, but I also hear hear what's going on. You see what I'm saying? All kind of things of that nature. So and then Dame Dash, Sun and Moon square each other. So yeah, so he needs to learn from his own actions. A lot of times he his actions make other people uncomfortable. Or a lot of times what makes him comfortable a lot of times he get uncomfortable by other people's actions, but that's really something going on within himself. He needs to learn how to accommodate his actions in some way and learn and be comfortable with his own actions and something that can be comfortable for everybody and then vice versa. Let his actions make him feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But see that play out in many different ways. The based upon where a person place or where a person is living. You know what I'm saying? But you have to you know, but at the same time when we talk about um that's that's may have where they class. I, I I know I was talking about Nas, but you know Nas his moon is in Aries, so they had the same type of situation. That's how they clashed. But to know how who won the war, who won now that's kind of weird a little bit because you know, I mean I can see it though. Nah, I really can't because look Nas is a mutable sign. He's Virgo, but Jay Z a mutable sign also, and they're both ruled by they're both opposite in their was comfortable to them, you know what I'm saying, so their actions, they, they can learn from each other's actions, but what makes them feel comfortable, who they are, is opposite, because cause, um, Nas moon is in Aries, and Jay-Z moon is in Libra, so it's almost like the way that what makes them, they might feel odds with each other, a lot of times, no matter how close they think, it's still weird, because it's opposites, and what, what's happening here is what makes Nas feel comfortable is creating new ways of how to see and feel about things. But a lot of times that's le that leaves no room to relate in any kind of way. So he may be a little lacking in when it comes to relating business or having relationships and things of that nature. And he just want to be somewhere where he can initially and create uh, new, new ways of seeing and feeling of whatever he's doing, which he raps. So he just want to create new music, new ways of new viewpoints, new ways of seeing, new verses and things. He just more cleaned on to that. And the way he expressed it is through his Virgo son. By uh, being mutable and being able to adapt to his own or other people's ways of thinking and being practical. So this would make him social class, socially conscious because he's looking into reality and see the practicality of what's going on and things and things of that nature. right? And, he, and then what makes him comfortable is initiating and creating new ways of how to see and feel about those things. So this nigga is just taking all kind of concepts and details that, that everybody do in routine every day. You know what I'm saying? What people are working on, shit like that. This and this coming up with new uh, new ass ways to rap about that shit and shit like that. So yeah, that's good all day. But then you got Jay Z on the flip side that you know he take his creativity, he he his actions 
is to be mutable, being able to adapt to his own or other people's ways of seeing and feeling about things. So when he's when he's doing this, when he's doing this, that's being backed and supported by relating. So he's relating his views in some type of way. He's relating how he sees things and how he feels in some type of way. So he know how to relate way better with his expressions. So he can express like the young guys out here. He can he can express like his own self, and he all he can express. Uh, how he can he can relate his message um in the most relatable way. It ain't, it ain't got to be too deep. It ain't got to be too far. But by him being a son of Sagittarius, it has no choice but to come across as wise or wisdom like or a cat with knowledge. But he's but is being backed and supported by fairness, law, justice, relativeness, re being relatable. So he's he's taking that relatability and it's being filtered through other people's ways of seeing and feeling about relativeness and things of that nature and how to relate to things and how you're supposed to go about things and build things and balance and needing balance and shit like that. So he he, he take balance into extreme measures and shit like that. So that's always a little bit more effective in, in business, you know what I'm saying, in business measures. So you can kind of see where uh, Jay-Z probably outweighed Nas in the business aspects. But at the same time, you know, he can't outweigh Nas on the lyrical out aspect. But by Jay Z's son being in Sagittarius, he can take that shape and form at times, and he can create the light and illusion to make people think like, Nah, this nigga is nicer than Nas. You know what I'm saying? So Nas is just Nas got to practically do something in reality in some type of way to ingrain that fire here. And um, a lot of times it's not seen because his son is in Virgo first. And that's another thing with all, all these Virgo rappers. You got, uh, I think you got Libra, uh, I mean, I think you got Ludacris, uh, 2 Chains, Playboy Cardi, um, who was it, uh, 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 Virgo, I think Joe Budden, um, um, all you Virgo rappers. Uh, one thing you need to learn, uh, Wale, uh, one, one thing that August Alcina, it's a lot of y'all, y'all, Wiz Khalifa, y'all talented, but, um, uh, one thing you, uh, need to learn is that it's more than business. It's, you need to learn, it's the creativity, yeah, it turns into a business. But don't forget that your creativity is is not the business. You know what I'm saying? Because here's here's what's going on with y'all. Also, y'all may not be aware of this, but the things y'all are caring about is not the things that should be cared about in the in the actual world when it comes to when it comes to music and things. And even though y'all can put words together real good. And sharp and y'all sharp with y'all words and things of that nature, right? It might uh y'all energy, the energy that y'all carry in general may not be focused on the right thing. You know what I'm saying? You could focus on writing the rap and putting things together, but your the energy that you express in your dealings in the world may not be right. Now I can't I don't I can't really speak for y'all in the shape or form, but I just know how the energy will play out. It'll play out as your light getting dim, and it'll play out as uh you getting dry, you're getting stale, you're getting your uh the the bag of the potato chips been open too long type of feel. You know what I'm saying? It is start and uh I'm trying to I'm trying to pick I'm trying to find the right scenario to try to uh so y'all can understand this connection. It's almost like um this is the best way I can say. It. The things that you care about is not things you should be, you should be caring about. And the things that you don't care about is the shit you should be caring about now. It may play out in all you Virgos different ways, shape, or forms when it comes to you music musicians and Virgos. It may play out, even Beyonce in a certain degree. It may play out in many different ways and shapes and forms. But however that way, shape, or form play out, you just need to understand that what, what you initially care about is not what you should be caring about. And what everyone is trying to get you to realize what you should care about is something that you should start looking at to take your energy of details and analyzing um, on. You know what I'm saying? Start to work on that because you already, you, you see what I'm saying? It's, deep. It's, it's, it's a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying?
that it won't it won't be perceived it won't be perceived in the way how y'all think things are being perceived like it's being negative or you have to you have to you have to know that everything is energy so it's not what you are learning what the energy is it's with the energy that you're in you know what I'm saying and if you're in that energy that's what you're going to manifest so keep that in mind no no I'm just talking shit flight boss bitch goddamn air uh, and goddamn 